Hello everyone. Thank you for returning for part two of my look at my current, well these are the conundrum planners of what to use for 2018. So um, I'm hoping by doing these videos I can kind of narrow down what I want to use. And I'm getting close, <laughs> believe me. Uh, so, the reason why I'm doing a Hobonichi Weeks and the Personal Size Planner, uh, because they're relatively about the same diameter, like, dimensions, I guess you could say, in the pages, uh, I, I do understand that this is considered, I guess, like a B6 slim, but, I don't know. I, I still think it's even narrower than B6 slim, but I'm not going to measure right now. Uh, and then the personal pages are the same page widths as uh, personal file effects, um, and both are in a weekly view. So I thought I would go over uh, my usage of them so far and uh, tell you what I like and dislike about them. And um, yeah, let's, let's just dig in. Okay, so we'll start with the personal planner. If you've watched any of my videos so far, you would recognize this uh, planner as Miss Monroe. She has a name. Uh, she's a Gilio Medium Campania in red, obviously. And uh, let's see. So let's go right into the insert. So we're literally going to stick with what kind of stuff I've been using for the, the first few weeks. So I've been using Peanuts Peanut Planner Co. Uh, freebies that are available on the Facebook page. Um, number one, thank you. Uh, these are awesome. I love the cleanness of the font. Uh, the boxes are, are pretty nicely uh, sized, etc. As you can see, I haven't filled out anything in the monthly pages yet because as soon as I printed them, I had to run to New York and then I ended up taking my B6 planner uh, on that trip. So I haven't even had a chance to really put anything in on the daily or on the monthly pages yet. Then we get into the weekly pages. So these are also uh, a freebie from Peanut Pla uh, Peanuts Planner Co. Uh, again, available from the Facebook page. And I love this layout because it's perfect. I, I can put in anything for the week here. Let me bring it up a little bit closer so you can see. Uh, that I kind of put this into a um, overlay thing so I could type in this week and I typed in the, the items that were in the daily tracker uh, using a software program on my computer. Um, it's pretty much, you could do it with a Mac with preview, you know, you just type in what you want in those sections, but they're normally blank. So they're really open to your interpretation of what you want there. But this was perfect because it already had Monday through Sunday on both of these columns. So, you know, it made it great to put dinners or, you know, something that happens on a weekly basis into those, uh, sections, but starting at the top kind of getting off track, but starting at the top, it was a great place for me to put anything that's happening for the week, but it's also a great place uh, for me to enter those projects that I was uh, trying to keep in view on the Jibun Tetcho and the uh, Agendio. Then each box is labeled Monday through uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now I have it highlighted in orange because it was a holiday and this is uh, actually yellow. Those are my husband's days off. So it's easy for me without even looking to know that that's a firm holiday and my husband's day, uh, day off. I have appointments in here and their times as, uh, as well as a reminder for like my trash, etc. A note about my daughter arriving, you know, a variety of things. So um, this worked out great. So the top part, schedule, all day events, big things like that. Then over on the right-hand column or right-hand side of the page, I would put my work tasks and my personal tasks. And then under the daily tracker, it was just enough space for me to use all the ones that I use on a weekly basis. So this was fantastic. I put my Bible study and my dinners at the bottom. You'll notice that they, they didn't get finished because 
um, I kind of winged it on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we probably went out, um, like jackalope, we went out to dinner or lunch for that day, and then I ended up making spaghetti, but I didn't write it in. It's not a big deal. I don't need to keep track of it for any purposes. It's more for meal planning, so I know what to um, pull out to defrost. Now, this page looks a little blank because on Monday, uh, I was... I put prep suitcase for the week because I thought I was leaving the next week, the week of the 15th. Huh. But they told me on Monday that I needed to be in New York the very next day. So all plans got scrubbed. Uh, I had to quickly pack on Monday and leave. Uh, so nothing for the week really got done. I did get back on Friday, but, uh, and so I did do chores, but Again, I don't really track them for the purpose of, of somebody telling me to do it. It's more of just making sure I remember to do them. And believe me, they got done. Uh, then here's my week uh, that I'm currently on. And you can see a ton of whiteout everywhere because, again, I had to white out all the notes um, about my travel events, etc. But I'm back on track. I'm using the pages. I still have some items to fill in. But let's look at next week so you can kind of see what a clean slate would look like. So I'll put in my dinners once I kind of uh, meal plan for the week. My Bible study once I finish the week. I don't put them out because I actually have my Proverbs uh, 29, 30, and 31 to be put in here. And then once I'm done with that, I'll start putting in the next chapter of um, in my Bible. Okay. Now, let me tell you what I did wrong when printing this these planner pages. As you can tell, I was writing in the date, but I thought, oh, it would be nice to put in using stickers instead. So come February, I started using the stickers that I had from Planner Chick Designs. Great, and then I ran out and I switched over to, they're either Kate Spade, or not Kate Spade, maybe it is Kate Spade, Kate Spade stickers or Carpe Diem stickers, I'm not sure which, brand um anyway but they're clear with gold uh lettering or numbers on them i use that for the remainder of the year which was great until i put it all back into the notes and now i have lumps where those date stickers are all in the same spot so big mistake don't do that write your numbers in i don't care how messy your handwriting is you will appreciate that you don't have the lumps. These I don't mind. Uh, however, now that I made mistakes, I'm probably going to redo these. But I tried to redo them on Tamoy River paper today. This is an example of my beginning start of reprinting this. Which, if anyone knows, the Tamoy River paper is super, super thin. And you can get a lot of paper in here, which is great. I tried to print but it kept cutting off the last line so this is hand drawn on and you know I'll print about 20 pages of fiddling with the settings before I give up and that's about what happened so I gave up because every Sunday was missing from all of those 20 pages and I was like I'm not going to waste my precious Tamoy River paper on my mistakes I even switched to regular a white printer paper and the same thing was happening or it didn't happen and I thought I was clear to go and it starts doing it again on the Tamoy. So I gave up. But the weekly pages are great. This setup is great. But guess what? I still hate the rings getting in the way. And you know, I don't know how come the rings are bothering me so much considering I was in them for like five years. So I don't know why it's such a frustration and some one of my friends did suggest going into the compact or the smaller diameter rings for that it might not be such a big deal and i do have a compact planner that i could try that in but uh for now i think i'm going to put miss monroe away i think the reason why i was in her for so long because i was using the diy fish planner inserts and you know those fold out and they're not so much in the way of the rings but I just need a break, I guess. Every once in a while I come back. So we're going to put her aside and I'm going to show you my Hobonichi Weeks. Now, 
I never thought I could get along with the Hobonichi Weeks because of how narrow the pages were. But let me tell you what I've got here. So this is a fossil. It's supposed to be, I think, a passport or travel wallet. It came with this really nasty plastic envelope or plastic insert. So only these are nasty, really, to be honest with you, these things that slide in here. But, so I took that out, gone. I punched this hole in here and put a grommet and put the elastic in here. Hallelujah, because it has this gorgeous fossil leather um, feel, just like the fossil satchels. They're just great. And it fit the Hobonichi Weeks perfectly. So I just slide it into the back cover. In They have a tall, long pocket back here. So I keep the pencil board, one of the Hobonichi Weeks notebook, excuse me, and I have two things that I need to put into my planner. 2018 movie releases. I like to know what movies are coming out, and I don't like to pull out my phone and try to find it. So I just printed it up. And this is the Read and Pray the Christmas Story. And I want to put that in for next Christmas. I just thought that was an interesting way of getting in the spirit of Christmas. So i am got to put that in here. I took one of these plastic adhesive pockets that I got at Michael's there for Traveler's Notebooks. But it has a slot for money. I put stamps back here. I have the Hobonichi little stickers, you know, like adhesive tape. It's backwards in here. Of course, I can't get it out now. And then these are from Michael's. Those, um, they came in these like little envelopes where you could have these stickers uh, held into it. But, sorry about that. So it came in something like this, little pocket. But these are the uh, pages that came with it. I swapped them out for my planner chick design stickers. So those are in here and any miscellaneous ones. But I discovered that if I took it out of the actual like holder, this is what you're left with. And it's the perfect size for a credit card wallet and it's thin and narrow. So I made a pocket or a nano size little dashboard thing to hold it and I have a nano for a wallet coming so we'll see if I like that but strictly for wallet purposes no notes no nothing maybe a shopping list that's it anyway so uh I had taken it out this one out and realized you know these are perfect for the Hobani two weeks the size of them so I'm going to start keeping uh, one or two of those sheets in here this pen loop kind of crooked but the pen loop is from I got it from the seven seas place the same place that I got the Nanami I think it's called Nanami or seven seas same place I bought this book I have it upside down where did I get it the cafe note from Nanami paper company it's a really brilliant pen holder though because the clip slides into this top part and the pen barrel slides into this so you literally oops you literally just clip the pen right onto that perfect and I don't have to worry about the size of the pen and then I just put the band over it so it's great I love it have my driver's license three of the stencils I really don't use the orange one from um, Hobonichi I've got some Valentine dance tickets and some more of these grocery shopping lists that I use regularly. This I use for drawing lines down the whole page of the weekly page. Some more shopping list items. These mostly I use when I'm out and about like errands where this is more for grocery shopping. I have this on the front side because I like to um, put it to my current month because this opens to my current week. So I just thumb it and bring it in. Okay. So let's look at the mother page. I have a clip. I talked about this yesterday. These little clips, super clips from Kino Kunia shop in New York. 
This is the current week, some tracking. I've got tracker, you know, up front, but I don't want to go into that really. I want to go into the weekly view because that's what we were looking at on the personal page. So this one started November 27th. So I've been, I was using this more uh, in November and December than in January. And you'll see the decline of it, but I'm going to head back into this because I really, really enjoy the fact that there's no rings getting in the way. I really got a lot of stuff done on this page. So for example, on the left side prior to the line was events and appointments. Uh, indicated with the traditional bullet circles, triangles, squares, etc. Over on the right hand side of the line, I was putting the weather, my meals, and the Bible reading plan for that day. Over on the right hand side, I put Monday through Saturday because Sunday really is my day of rest. So I don't schedule anything to be done on Sunday except church and being with my family. Tasks, what I had been doing was uh, I would mark, highlight the item that I wanted to get done for the day. As you can see, on Wednesday, I highlighted it. Um, I marked what day I wanted to do it on. I highlighted it. And then the day that I did it, I crossed it out. I think, let me back up. What I did was I would highlight the item the day I wanted to do it. So I didn't highlight it until the morning of that was the day. That was like my review of all my stuff that's on my list. Which one do I want to tackle today? So I would highlight three or four items that I wanted to tackle that day. And as they got done, I would cross them off and I would mark what day it got done. Uh, if it didn't get done, I would put an arrow or put in, you know, a dash saying it didn't get done or something like this one was no recruits. So I crossed it off because I didn't have any recruits. So that's what that indicated. Then I had a list of projects down at the bottom. If I finished a project or I worked on a project, I would indicate it just to show that I made progress on it. And then on the habit tracker, I added, I need to update it so that it includes pet meds. But for now, that was the habit tracker. Then I started seeing other people's stuff. So I put chores down here, like my weekly chores, which I'm continuing to do that. Um, I hand wrote the tracker on here, but everything was pretty much the same. Then, um, yep. Then on the uh, right side, you'll notice that this completely changed. That's because I saw somebody else's um, set up and I thought, wow, this is really cool. I could get a lot of stuff in here, but I really don't like the length of the weekly pages. So I am going back to what I um, originally had done and uh, with the sideline, etc., and not using so many broken down sections. So then I moved into January. So you can start seeing it decline from use. And I was just keeping a schedule and my, my thought process is I would use this just for a wallet with my ID, credit card, etc., and a, you know, a brief overview of what's coming up so I could tell somebody if I was available and then use this site for grocery shopping list. Uh, as you can tell, it did not happen. So, the, and this is when I was in New York that week. So nothing really took place. And I'm back in it for this week, but again, I had already pre-written in it, so I didn't want to set it up for next week in my old way. So I just have some notes and this is next week's setup. So right now it'll be the battle between the Jibun Techo and the Hobonichi Weeks because what's different about this one as opposed to the Jibun now the Jibun has a lot of extra sections, such as places to put your book law, um, log your books, your movies, your budget. I mean, there's probably 20 different pages of things that you can track or keep track of, but the Mega came out with a ton of extra note pages that you can really define yourself. So I have an index going on. I've got six pages of index pages. I have a place to write my goals, which I've already started, but I need to transfer them into here. Uh, reading log, pen test, some planning info for my 
raised flower bed outside, my savings goal sheet that I have in the other planner, the Jibbin, you saw that in the last video, um, a weight tr tracking measurement chart, some challenges, some Catholic stuff that I have in my, in here, include, uh, day trip ideas, my last year's Christmas list, my current wish list, some camping gear that we're planning for a camping trip in March, fly zones, and then this is the household maintenance, which I've done a video on it using a different um, insert. I have it in this household management book as well, so it's just a duplication of the same info, info but placed in here. Then I have... What else do I have in here? I've got a prayer request sheet. I've got the daily tracker that someone um, graciously provided and I used the same kind of overlay sheet to put in the tracking info, which I plan to start using in February. I found this 2018 declutter challenge. It's getting rid of 2018 things in 2018. Then I have a section, oops, I have a section for in case of emergency, my financial tracker. Oh, and I already started using my 100 exciting things in 2018. So I started writing those in. And that's pretty much it. So I think it's going to come down to right now the Jibun Techo and the Hobonichi Week. So those are the contenders right now on what I will use for the rest of the year. This is easy to take in my purse and it's all in one. This is not easy to take in my purse, but it has a lot more room, you know, so. But these are the two contenders so far. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video on the B6 Franklin Day Planner and a look at the B6 Jibun Techo, but we've already seen the A5 Jibun Techo. I just want to show you the comparison of size, etc. But uh, the purpose of tomorrow's video is really to look at the daily view and how I get along with it and how I used it in New York when I was there. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video and take care. Have a great day. Bye.